Welcome back to another 5-Minute Sunday School. Today is Sunday, December 13th, and today we're going to talk about the shepherds. When you have some really good news to share, who do you share it with first? Your mom or your dad? Maybe a brother or a sister? Maybe your best friend? Or your teacher if you're at school? The point is, you're going to share it with someone important to you. You're going to share it with somebody who can be excited with you. Today, we're going to learn about the first group of people that heard about Jesus' birth. But first, let's pray. Father God, thank you for this week and for the people around us who can share our excitement when we have good news. Thank you for the good news we have in our lives and be with us to help us when we get bad news. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Immediately after Jesus' birth, Angels came to the shepherds in fields nearby. We can read about this in Luke chapter 2, verses 9 through 14. That night in the fields near Bethlehem, some shepherds were guarding their sheep. All at once an angel came down to them from the Lord, and the brightness of the Lord's glory flashed around them. The shepherds were frightened, but the angel said, Don't be afraid. I have good news for you, which will make everyone happy. This very day, in King David's hometown, a Savior was born for you. He is Christ the Lord. You will know who he is, because you will find him dressed in baby clothes and lying on a bed of hay. Suddenly, many other angels came down from heaven and joined in praising God. They said, Praise God in heaven! Peace on earth to everyone who pleases God. There are three things from this passage that I want to point out to you. First is the word immediately. The angels came to the shepherds right away. It wasn't a couple days from now. It was right away. When you have good news, do you hold on to it? Or do you want to tell somebody right away? And that's what happened. Sending the shepherds to look at this baby right away also meant that no one could accuse the shepherds of making their story up. The second thing I want to point out to you is that the angels were super specific. Sometimes when we read our Bibles, there are some passages in there that are maybe a little unclear or hard to understand. Not in this case. The angels were very clear. Today, a Savior was born and he is Christ the Lord. That's pretty clear. Not only that, they told the shepherds where they could find this baby. You'll find this baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Again, very, very clear. There is no chance that the shepherds were going to mix up this message or get lost. No time was wasted in looking for him. Seeing with their own eyes meant that everything the angels were saying was true. Here is a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. That means that when the angel said that this baby is our Savior, our Messiah, that's true as well. The third thing I want to point out to you is praise. Praise means to celebrate. The angels praised God after telling the shepherds about Jesus' birth. Later on, if we read further on, we learn that the shepherds went to search out the baby found the baby and spoke with Mary and Joseph and told them what the angels had said. When they left, they were praising God. They were celebrating and they were starting to spread the word. We like to celebrate. We celebrate good news. It fills us with happiness and with joy. And when we are filled with happiness and joy, we like to share that with other people. Next week, we're going to talk about unusual gifts. And that's our Christmas story. It's a pretty unusual gift. I'm going to leave you today with a Christmas video that many of you helped create. You did a great job. I'm proud of all of you. For now, love to you all. Have a great week. Celebrate with happiness and share joy.
When I was but a youngster, Christmas meant one thing, that I'd be getting lots of toys that day. I learned a whole lot different when Mother sat me down and taught me how to spell Christmas this way. She is for the Christ child, born upon this day. H is for Herald Angels in the Night. R is for Redeemer. I is for Israel. That's where Jesus was born. S is for the star that shines so bright. And that's why there's a Christmas Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. From our family to yours. Merry Christmas.